Dr. Eric Madrid here. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're gonna to discuss turmeric and Alzheimer's disease. Can this herbal spice really help treat and even prevent this awful condition? Alzheimer's disease is a brain disorder that generally affects older adults. The condition, which was named after Dr. Alois Alzheimer, a, Ger a German psychiatrist, who in 1906 diagnosed dementia in a woman who had died from a strange mental illness. Alzheimer's disease has no specific cure, can cause enormous frustration and challenges to both patient and caretakers alike. Symptoms include forgetting names and confusion in the early stages, while late Alzheimer's disease can give way to more severe issues like paranoia and sometimes even abusive behavior. Fewer than 1% of Alzheimer's disease cases occur prior to the age of 65, but scientists predict after age 65, one in nine people are at risk. Alzheimer's disease is believed to be caused by a deposition of a protein in the brain called amyloid beta. The amyloid beta protein creates a type of scar tissue in the brain, which results in memory loss and other symptoms of Alzheimer's. Preventing the deposition of amyloid beta may itself be the answer to both preventing and possibly reversing this debilitating disease. So let's discuss the symptoms of Alzheimer's um, that a person may have, and these include trouble with words and speech. This is known as aphasia. A person may have difficulty making executive decisions and may have trouble simply paying a bill. Doctors call this agno agnosia. One may also notice memory loss. It appears that new memory is primarily affected while long-term memory remains intact. The loss of memory is also known as amnesia. Also, a person may have trouble remembering the names of things. Doctors call this anomia, also known as anomia. Last, a person may be observed misusing objects. For example, they may try to write with a fork or perhaps even eat with a pen. This is known as apraxia. Let's also discuss risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. The good news is if you have many of these risk factors, you can actually make some lifestyle changes which will help prevent and even reduce your risk of ever developing Alzheimer's disease. These risk factors include tobacco use. It's never too late to stop smoking cigarettes. Some quit cold turkey, while others use nicotine gum, patches, and sometimes even prescription medications. So consult with your doctor and find out what's best for you. Perhaps you have a diet low in fruits and vegetables. Again, choose today to eat more fruits and vegetables, which are high in antioxidants and help protect the brain. As the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Another risk factor is high blood pressure. For many, weight loss can help reduce blood pressure. If you are on medications, again, make sure you do not forget to take them and it's important that you ultimately check your blood pressure and maintain good control. Physical inactivity, that is not exercising, is also a risk factor. Get up and start moving. At minimum, commit to walking at least 30 minutes, three to four times per week. This will ultimately make a huge difference in the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. 65 years of age or older is another risk factor. Not much we can do about this. Um, however, diabetes being a risk factor, there is something we can do. So reducing one's sugar and carbohydrate intake is crucial to uh, possibly reversing and even controlling uh, diabetes. I've had many patients reduce their medications, sometimes get off them altogether, simply by incorporating a low carbohydrate diet, such as the paleo or uh, ketogenic diet. A history of traumatic brain injury or TBI is also a risk factor. Some studies have suggested that omega-3 fish oil can be helpful for those who have traumatic brain injury. Lastly, family history uh, is a risk factor. 25% of the cases of Alzheimer's disease appear to be genetic in that one has the gene for the ApoE4 um, protein or gene. However, this does not make one destined to develop Alzheimer's disease. One simply needs to take more precautions and reduce risk factors uh, that we just mentioned. So is there hope? Is there anything one can do to prevent Alzheimer's disease? Is there a magic pill? 
Sort of. But when the other risk factors are minimized, uh, this supplement can be helpful. This magic herb is turmeric, and it may be a useful tool to help prevent Alzheimer's disease. According to an April 2018 study in neural regeneration research, turmeric can play a significant role in keeping the brain healthy. Also known as curcuma longa and Indian saffron, turmeric is a rooted plant of the ginger family. It's often consumed for its anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and digestive health properties. Curcumin, the active chemical found in the turmeric root, is believed to provide many of the health benefits. Many people have used turmeric as a spice to enhance their food's taste for over 4,000 years. According to a 2018 study, according to a 2018 study, turmeric does the following. It helps reduce the amyloid beta protein. It helps uh, stop the deposition of the amyloid beta protein in the brain, which again is believed to be the cause of Alzheimer's, and it increases the removal of the protein from the brain. Turmeric also increases glutathione, a potent antioxidant which protects the brain from oxidative cellular damage. Turmeric stops, or at least slows down, brain cells from aging. And lastly, turmeric reduces inflammation in the brain. All of these mechanisms keep the brain healthy. The authors of the study go on to mention that turmeric's anti-inflammatory properties play a crucial role in helping to protect the brain against various uh, assaults which cause Alzheimer's disease. Since turmeric is more common in the diets of those who live in Asia and India, this may explain why these populations have a lower incidence of Alzheimer's disease in both their young and elderly when compared to those in Europe and North America. More research will need to be done, however, before firm conclusions can be drawn. However, this is a very promising as many of the medications out there are not very helpful, it appears. And uh, you know, the good news is tumor can be added uh, to your food as a spice. It can be consumed as a hot tea or even taken in a supplement form. It can be purchased uh, online or from your uh, local pharmacy. Personally, I like the brand by California Gold Nutrition. It's sold at iHerb.com. Uh, however, there's other uh, quality brands that can be purchased online or again at your local pharmacy. The suggested dose that I usually recommend to patients is 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams once or twice per day. I often recommend this herbal supplement to my patients who have arthritis-related pain in their knees, hips, and shoulders, and I've seen many patients benefit over the years. It's nice to know that when they take the supplement for their arthritis, they can also optimize their brain health and hopefully even prevent memory loss. A note of caution, however, for those on blood thinners such as Coumadin or uh, Xarelto or Eloquis, check with your healthcare provider before starting. Turmeric can reportedly increase bleeding risk, although I've not found any studies to actually support this. I think this risk is more theoretical. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure you follow my YouTube channel and share this video with friends and family who you think may benefit. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Eric Madrid MD. Thank you and have a wonderful day.